Uh, hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the second part of that webinar where we are talking about Node.js for the MongoDB and in this particular video we are going ahead with another uh, relationship which is one is too many. So in the previous video uh, which I already added a link in my in the video description there you can take a look. So this is the second part of the same video and here we are going to talk about one is too many relationship. Okay. In this one is to many relationship there can be uh, many options okay like uh, we have a one blog is having few images one blog has many comments and there are many categories for a particular blog right one is to a lot one is to many or one is to few because at the runtime we can decide what kind of strategy we wanted to use for these kind of a relationship like embedded relationship or the referential relationship, referential relationship where you have to manage a separate document and in the embedded relationship you don't need to create a separate document you just embed a one document into another document okay let's see uh, the blog and image example if you just see blog and image example here we have created a blog so one way is to do it you can create an embedded relationship where you will create a one blog and it will have like many comments right but here you are not creating the comment ID separately I mean you are not creating any comment collection you are just keep embedding the new comments in a particular array attribute array so comment is having the array so you can keep pushing the new comments coming for this particular blog 01 okay so this is called embedding style so you can decide if you don't have many records like uh, blog with uh, images a blog will have a limited number of images to be shown as a placeholder so there you can decide of having this embedded approach but like blog is going to have many comments it can be having 100 to 150 comments then it's better to create and split them into a different reference so blog can be a, that will be a separate document here in the comments you will just manage the document IDs of an individual comment so this is a comment one this is a comment two the username text descriptions and feedback all these columns and you will be just providing the, the IDs of those particular record or documents in the comments so the, these are the two different ways of uh, achieving this okay so in the relationship how we can do it let's uh, take a look okay so let, let's take a look on to the blog and comment example so what we can do is we can just create a simple model one is too many okay like uh, this is my blog blog model is nothing but a title author image so first we will try to uh, do the embedded way of doing it where blog can have a uh, many images just uh, embedded way of doing it we just keep pushing the set of image objects inside this image array instead of creating image as a separate document collection okay so if we just uh, start writing the routes for it like we can just create a create blog route I can have these separate uh, routes for it so when you do blog I will just have a create get all blogs and here we can create a blog and this is this will be another controller like blog controller we are just adopting a simple MVC approach okay let's directly jump into uh, our controllers to write the code this is my blog controller and I have already shown how uh, the blog model look like okay this is a simple blog model currently I don't need a image image model because I'm going to embed it all the images in this particular blog so in the blog controller I will just use uh, first I will create a blog because one is to uh, many entities one, one is to many relationship first we have to first entity so blog we can just create I can just use this method copy paste so it can be uh, create a blog okay in the request body I'm getting it so const blog uh, I'm getting it in the request body what I'm going to create okay and what I can do is so it is just going to create a blog without images like a empty image array 
so we can just do const new block <coughs> equal to await and here we can say block dot create block will be a schema model and here we will create a block dot create I think this is not imported from the model so that's not coming up here Okay, we created in a different location, so I will just drag it here. Okay, we imported a blog here, so if we can access that object in our blog controller, blog dot find. Now I am able to access blog dot create. I am able to access, and it will accept only the entity. Okay, so this simple method will what it will do it will just create a block. Now we can create another method is update blog with images. Sorry for the typos. Okay, now in this what we are going to do we already have a block created. So we might be getting a blog ID, okay, and we will be getting an image object which we are going to insert. So first, we have a blog ID, so we can just use find by ID and update on the blog because we are going to update the blog object and we are going to insert uh, this new image. So I have already done uh, this set of things on my book controller. So I will try to use that piece of code. I will explain it what we are doing. So block controller here uh, new block or it is already created right so I am doing a blog dot find by id and update I am passing blog id so I will be getting a blog based on that id and I am going to push the new blog right new blog object itself so here we just need to append it what we are going to enter is uh, inside a dollar push it will be an images object right and images object we can specify our all the attributes which we are passing we just need to take care of the closing so brackets so inside images we have a different argument like uh, here we are having embedded images so image URL can be something Can be something so let me just see what it is about. Okay, now things are clear. We can just format this code and there are formatters available. Yeah, this look nice now what we are doing is we are doing a find by ID and update so we are just doing, going to push this new data on images right so this images we keep entering the data so we got the image coming from this so we might be getting the URL property and image name from there that should be fine and uh, here in this new true I mean if that this record is true then it will update and it will just create a entry of this okay so when we are hitting it we are just passing a blog id so it is getting that and it is just updating first it is doing find by id and update so there are many methods available like find find by id find by id and delete find by id and remove find by id and update all these methods these are the utility existing methods which are being provided right okay so this is the one way here what the outcome we will we are going to get we are going to have the the outcome which we discussed that it is going to have a nested array right so blog is in here just replace it with the images here you have an image name 
and url or something then it will just create an array of it okay this is the one way now another way is we can just define image collection okay that what, what it how where it is going to help is we can define the image schema and we just insert it so that we will take a look on to with the example of blog and comment so here i have another model feedback let's see it is a comment or feedback okay i have a username who is who is doing it text and created it um, okay feedback.js now what i wanted to do is if you are creating a multiple feedbacks then i need to assign that association first of all so this blog will have a relationship with the feedback I just need to create a copy of it here so that we can just associate it for this tutorial okay so blog has a images now blog will also have a comments or you can say feedbacks this is an array this is how we define the relationship and here we can say what is the type of it type of it is a mongoose dot schema dot type something dot object id and reference you have to provide the reference of this particular feedback i mean which particular model you are pointing to so feedback is my another model here this reference is feedback right so seems need to be placed here in the block feedback now what we are doing is we are maintaining the reference of the feedback ids in this array so while getting the blog what i can do is uh, blog dot find dot populate feedback so it will give me all the records right in this approach when we are going to insert the data what we will do is i will just write that method in the block controller is update blog with the feedback we have already created a blog update blog with feedback right so here we will just get a uh, blog id and here we will get a feedback object now just take care because here we need to create a feedback also. So what I will do is I will make this empty. Let's go down. Yeah. So what we are doing is first we are going to create a feedback object. Okay. So we can just get a feed equal to request dot body or we are already getting this maybe from the routes the feedback object which is in the request dot body. So what we can do is we have to create it first feedback dot create this is the model so we have to import it consider that we are importing it i'm just considering it login feedback we imported other feedback now feedback dot create you just variable namings you just need to take care maybe we can just do it like this because it is accepting make it just request response based only so we are getting all these things from request.body and this feedback id you are getting in the params sorry blog id Restructuring. So I got the blog ID and whatever you are sending in the payload, I'm considering that as a JSON object. So I'm getting a feedback. So I'm just passing that here. So I got the new feedback. Now I need to just insert this new feedback object ID inside my blog entity. Right? So what I can do is a dollar push, and here I need to just provide the object. Here I have a feedback. Feedback is an array, and here this is the new document already created. So I just need to capture ID from here. What underscore ID? That's that's it. It's expected. Okay. Yeah. Now this looks clear, right? So what we are doing is we are now creating a updating a blog with the new feedback feedback data you got in the payload and blog id you are getting in the request parameter based on the blog id 
you are getting that blog and you are updating you are just pushing the new feedback into it and you are getting it so you can just wrap it around 5 if you want so if any exception occurs sorry next we can use the middleware and we can just pop that here. Because this can be further handled, then we will just get a nice message for the error, not the uh, stack trace, and the application will not terminate. If something goes wrong with this particular query, where we are just updating a blog, right? So this is another way. What we are doing simply updating a blog with the uh, new feedback or new comment which we have received, right? So how it look like is first we have to trigger this query where we have to create a blog, right? Once the blog is created, we got the blog ID. From the UI, we have to pass blog ID as a request parameter and this payload of a comment. Okay. Now while populating it, you can just use dot populate and you can also populate feedback. And images are images are already a part of blog. If you just see this blog model, images are just an array. But feedback is a reference, it is maintaining an array of feedback uh, object IDs. So you can populate it. Okay, so there are many uh, type of relationships we have seen. Uh, one is to few, like uh, one is to few, one is to many, one is to a lot. When it comes to one is to few, you can just use embedded relationships like a uh, blog with images. One is to many. One is to many here. I mean, you can decide either you wanted to go with the reference or embedded one. But one is to too many, a lot. Like blog has a many comments. Then references are the the right way of doing it. We just create a two different references like one is for blog one is for comment and comments can also be captured separately and blog can also be captured separately you are just managing the references of one another right so if i if we just talk about uh, one more example of schema model of uh, tutorial here it can be a blog so here we have a comments right so it this these relationships can be anything here you can maintain provide all different kind of relationships so this blog has a single category single category so it is a one is to one kind of relationship relationship and it has a many comments right so you can have a blog maybe author author can be another uh, set of object id And you can populate all these kind of information while you are fetching a particular blog. So now it has an author, it has a comment, it has a blog. If you want to have the, the blog can have multiple authors, then you can just make it a this kind of a one is to many relationship. This blog is having one is to many with author, one is to many with comment, and one is to one with category because we are maintaining only single category object for a particular blog. Right? Now it has a one is to one and one is to com many combination. Okay and in the same way like while creating this while doing so if you wanted to update a category what you will do is you will just assign a category id to this right uh, this is the blog inside the blog controller if i wanted to assign a category to this blog i will just create a method Okay, here I will have a method for implementation assign assign category, and here I will be having both the IDs uh, request dot uh, params dot uh, blog ID maybe and request dot params. Log ID and category ID. So I'm getting both the things in request parameter. Okay, now what I will do, I just need to do the update, right? So update can be done in the same way. Find by ID and update and Category. 
it's not a new blog it's an updated blog and we are sending updated blog back so we are just what we are getting find blog by id this is the blog id and uh, we are just going to update what which particular attribute category with the category id which we got right so what it is updating it is just assigning a category to this and you can use a destructuring here okay yeah so this is all i think about uh, one is two and relationship there is one more thing is about many is to many relationships where like a simple example we can talk about is tag where uh, one many book can have many tags and many tags can belongs to a many books right so that is another way and here we are going to have one is to many so if you just see uh, my book model here it is going to have a tags right so one book is having many tags and if you just click take a look on the tag tag is having a books and array right so it it goes either way it's like a many to many relationship where many books will have many tags and many tags will be assi assigned to many books okay so both will have a reference of one another in form of an array and whenever you are going to create if you create a book then you have to just insert that book in the to update the tag when you create a new tag you have to update the tag inside the book okay like uh, here you are creating a new tag so once the tag is created you will assign that tag id or you will push that tag id here and when you created a new book you have to push that new book id in the tag array so I, you can understand that simply with the controllers if i just talk about the book controller okay so create book and add tag so whenever you create tag or create book you have to do some insertion of that book id or tag id into respective columns right now we have we already understood what this code look like right so what we are doing is uh, this is the create book so what it is doing it is creating a book first once the book is created you got the book id so you are passing that book id and updating the tag okay opposite to it opposite to it you are creating a tag creating a tag and you got the tag id from the, this object and you are updating a book right so this is how you will be able to manage the one is to many is to many relationship and here using this way you can create you can get the data for like you can get the many tag for a particular book or you can get the many book for a particular tag i mean many is to many is kind of a rare scenario and it always confuses lot of developers that how to define the relationship and most of the time it is always one is to many and many is to one able to solve our problem but in the extreme case this is how we can manage it so in this thing while populating this data you can just get the data like this uh, if in the tag controller you can populate the books similarly in the book controller you can populate the tags and here i'm populating both the things author and tag so books books can have a many tags right uh, book and have science fiction so uh, psychological book or some kind of experimental book or some kind of a course book something like this right so there is a many is to many relationship and this is how we are managing it or you can just pass the ids of both book id and tag id and just update get the book uh, from that and just update the tag push the tag or similarly in the tag control i have written the same method add book to tag so here you got the book id and tag id you find the tag and update and push the book id okay so uh, i hope i am able to convey the right message about the mongodb relationship how you can manage how you can define the relationships using just a schema model what you need to do is it's not that it's not that highly constrained you have to take care while writing the code like one is to many relationships so first you create a blog now comments while creating the comments you create them separately and just push the comment ids after uh, push the comment ids by updating the blog this is how we do it right so it's like a operations which are dependent on one another one book has uh, like one is to many relationship is there like one book has a many authors so first if you have already created a book entity 
now you just create a author and keep pushing the ids of those authors in the author array in the book entity okay so this is how we can manage the relationship and i will be just pushing this code so you can also take a look on to these schema relationships in this particular repository okay if you have any questions then please just add a comment and please subscribe to my channel uh, thanks everyone